Last month, I requested from OPBD a copy of several reports and assessments of the situation at Fort Calhoun, including a geotechnical report regarding the condition of the soil under and around the nuclear plant following the 2011 flooding. This geotech report is completed according to a statement Mr. Bannister made at the April public meeting. The report is done, and the report, there were no issues. Or there may be deficiencies in the way the geotechnical assessment was conducted, thus undermining the quality of the report. I know the NRC did have some concerns about the scope of the initial company's review of the subsoil conditions with respect to the subsurface at the auxiliary building. I don't believe that was included in the first firm's study. And that was in part why the second firm was brought in to continue that evaluation underneath the aux building. And I don't know that we have our own technical experts, hydrologists, and soils experts that still have outstanding questions with respect to the subsoil evaluation. In any event, I would like to know why OPBD is not living up to its promises of transparency and instead is withholding the completed geotech report as well as the other reports and assessments I requested. And I'd like to know when they will be provided. Ms. Moore, to address your issue regarding my statement, if I said that the geotechnical report was complete, that was an error. The report is done, and the report, there were no issues. The report is not complete. We are still continuing some of the activities. We expect it to be completed soon, but it's not complete yet. And when it is, then we will make that available. And so just to make sure, we want to bring in somebody independent, somebody who wasn't involved with the original analysis, to make sure that there was no other issues. That's the first report that found nothing. And so we want to make sure that there's nothing else in there. The question about the report was asked by me at the Blair meeting. Why did you feel that you needed a second geotech firm? What problem did you have with the first one? What problem did you have with their findings? Has the second one come in? Have they released their findings to you? And what were they? And that had to do with your first geotech report. And I remember you answering my question. The report is done, and the report, there were no issues. And so just to make sure, we want to bring in somebody independent, somebody who wasn't involved with the original analysis, to make sure that there was no other issues. That's the first report that found nothing. And you said the report's in, we reviewed it, they found no problems, essentially. I'm paraphrasing you. The report is done, and the report, there were no issues. The NRC didn't quite like that first report. I think they felt it wasn't thorough enough. Maybe they didn't have confidence in the other companies. I know the NRC did have some concerns about the scope of the initial company's review of the subsoil conditions with respect to the auxiliary, the subsurface at the auxiliary building. I don't believe that was included in the first firm's study. And that was in part why the second firm was brought in, to continue that evaluation underneath the aux building. So they required you to do a second geotech report. What I'd like to know from the lady that preceded me is, what report did you ask for? I think you could have only asked for that first report, because that's the only one that we knew about at the time. I see you nodding your head yes. So what one did you make a mistake on? In the report, there were no issues. You know, it was very obvious to me that you had the results of the first report. The report is done. You reviewed them, and it showed nothing. In the report, there were no issues. Now you're saying you don't have that? Or is it the second report that you don't have? All we have is one report. We don't have two reports. We've never submitted it to the regulator. The subsoil evaluation was, I know the NRC did have some concerns about the scope of the initial company's review of the subsoil conditions with respect to the auxiliary, the subsurface at the auxiliary building. I don't believe that was included in the first 
firm's study. And that was in part why the second firm was brought in to continue that evaluation underneath the OX building. And I know we have our own uh, technical experts, hydrologists, and soils experts that still have outstanding questions with respect to uh, the subsoil evaluation. It's the same report that we have. We're certainly talking with the, with the new regulatory commission on what we're, you know, the, the actions that we're taking, the, the testing, the, the samples and the testing of the, the core samples that we've taken. We've certainly had a lot of dialogue. Uh, technical experts, hydrologists, and soils experts that still have outstanding questions with respect to uh, the subsoil evaluation. It's just one report. So just to make sure, we want to bring in somebody independent, somebody who wasn't involved with the, the original analysis to make sure that, that, that there, there was no other issues. That's the first report found nothing. I don't, there's not multiple reports. Yeah, was we'll it, that soon. Wasn't, wasn't there a second geotech firm that was hired and brought out and was just starting their testing about the time of the Blair meeting? The first, the first round of testing had been completed. The second firm for the subsoil evaluation? The second round of testing, according to the NRC officials I talked to, was just starting. It was a, it was a second geotech firm. Did that happen? Has that started, like they said? Uh, isn't there a second round of testing going on? Well, there's been there's been ongoing testing that we've done in and around the plant site, uh, and truly, really it's it's for us. We're, we want to ensure that there are no issues with the subsoils around the buildings. My question was was very simple. Was there a second geotech firm that was hired that has either begun testing or finished testing? Is there a second firm for the subsoil evaluation? Is there a second round of testing? from a second geotech firm, not the first geotech firm. There's a total of three firms that we're working with. Some are doing testing, some are doing independent review of the testing, is to ensure we have to satisfy ourselves that the subsoils underneath these buildings. Sir, you're not answering my question. There's three firms, sir. There may be three firms. Is there a second round of testing going on? I realize you may have another firm reviewing the test results, but you said at the Blair meeting, the first round of testing was complete. The report has been submitted, and the report is good. Then in the report, were, there were no issues. Then I talked to the NRC people after the meeting, and they're telling me that they are requiring a second geotech firm with more experience in remediation to come in and do a second round of testing. As I understand, the question is, <coughs> why are we brought in an independent why did you did you feel that you needed a second geotech firm? What what problem did you have with the first one? What problem did you have with their findings? Uh, has the second one come in? Have they released their findings to you? And, and, and what were they? Thank you for the question, Mike. And after that question gets answered, we'll go to Mr. Corbett. Thank you. Uh, the report is done, and the report were, there were no issues. So just to make sure, we want to bring in somebody independent, somebody who wasn't involved with the, the original analysis, to make sure that, that, that there, there was no other issues. That's the first report found nothing. So there isn't there two sets of testing going on? Won't there be two reports? You've got one. Isn't there going to be a second one? Just one report. 